Hello, my name is John, and I'm a bass instructor. And today we're going to walk the bass on a G blues, like this. Okay, so when you're starting to walk on a G blues, first thing to consider are the chords. What chords do we have? In a blues, we have a one chord, a four chord, and a five chord. Typically all dominant seventh chords, which means they're major chords with a flatted seventh. So in this case, we have a G chord, and we have a third, so we go G, B, D, F. F would be the flat seventh, as opposed to F sharp, which would be a major seventh, which is what we're typically gonna see in a major scale. This is actually a Mixolydian scale, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing off of a C chord, we have a E, a G, and a B flat, and that would be a C7 arpeggio. Same thing with the D chord, we have D, F sharp, A, C, okay? So those are the main chords we're gonna use for this. Um, the most important thing to remember when walking a bass line is that you wanna try and approach things chromatically, um, especially if you wanna get that kind of cliche walking sound, right? So, for example, you notice that I went from G, the first chord, and when I'm going to the second chord, C, I'm approaching it chromatically. So, and now it's important that I'm doing it with different fingers as opposed to, so just make it a lot easier if you have your position ready to go. Right? Okay, so we're gonna go from G, a, B flat, B, C, and now we're going to go back down to the one chord, and we're going to approach that ascending chromatically again. So open E, F, G flat, G, okay? So here we go. Now, side note, I like to pick all of my walking bass lines with my thumb. I find that it's just a more consistent sound. But if you feel like doing it with your finger too, in a more classic style, nothing wrong with that. I just prefer to use my thumb. Anyway, continuing on, um, we go. We need to go back to the C chord again. We're going to do it a different way this time. We're going to come from the top and go down. So we're going to start off with a G arpeggio, G, B, D. And instead of going up here to the flat seventh like I did before, we're gonna chromatically go down to the next chord, which is to the C. So we're gonna go. Okay. And then we're gonna continue on. Approaching the G chord again, the same way we did here, but an octave up. So we're gonna start here on second fret, third, fourth, fifth. High G, an octave of the original one chord. And now we need to get to the five chord. So the easiest way to get to the five chord would be to walk chromatically up to it, just like we've been doing. B, C, C sharp, D, or D flat, D flat or C sharp, D. And now we're just gonna end it off with the chromatic approach down back to the one chord. Okay, um, at any point if you have any questions, I'm happy to go over them. I can go back and go as slow as you want me to, or as fast as you want me to, just let me know. Okay, so we're gonna put it all together and this is what it'll sound like. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed learning how to walk the bass.